Back on February 8th, it was a cloudy day up in Salado when Ernie Columbus had planned to celebrate his 100th birthday by jumping out of an airplane. So it had to be postponed. So that made a very sunny Valentine's Day, Columbus Day, and Ernie was ready for his tandem jump. Oh yeah, we're gonna be best friends. Plane's about 20, 25 steps from here. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna do a good job here. Yeah, we'll I imagine myself. I'm going to go up, we got room for you today, and then I'm going to no, fall and be open. Gonna open. Gonna... I hope it opens. I don't know. <laughs> Happy landing, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, shoot forward, huh? Yes, sir. Both, Come on, sweetheart. Put your hand right here, and I'll pull you forward if you need to. There you go. We're going. things were looking up for Ernie's friends and family. About 11,000 feet overhead, it was time for the moment, 100 years and six days in the making. When the parachute opened, instructor Luis Hermosillo skillfully navigated the parachute for some twists and turns high above Salado. This next sound is the sound a daughter makes watching her 100-year-old father skydive. It's coming pretty fast, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, he is swinging around and around. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks like he's going upside down. Gracious. <gasps> Looks really windy up there. All's well that lands well. <laughs> Beautiful. Go ahead and stand up. Go ahead and stand up, Mr. Ernie. I got you, buddy. There we go. I'm up. <laughs> Perfect. Mr. Ernie! Hey, thank you. What would you think about that, Good sir? Good job. I had a great job. Hey, Good job. Potter. All right, Ernie, what's the deal? How was it? Great. Uh, great. The, the, uh, until, until the chute opened, man, it was just going down, going down, going down. I didn't even know it. All of a sudden, the chute opened up. It was great. Great, great ride. Swinging. When was I swinging? Well, your daughter was watching and doing some oh, of the I turns. Oh, I was swinging. Oh. Yeah. She, she sounded a little nervous. Nothing oh, to worry about? Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Okay. I guess I will walk to get this thing off, huh? Yep. Go on back up there where they put it on you. Sure. Oh. All right, so what else? You've jumped out of an airplane, Ernie. What's next? What else you need to do in life other than well, jumping out of an airplane? Uh, I, I, I'd like to get in, in, in a racer and, and get on a racetrack, but I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Uh, I tried it one time. I, uh, uh, I may try it again sometime. To drive a race car? Race car, yeah. That's next. Uh, it might be next. I might. <laughs> How about it, Circuit of the Americas? I bet you could find somebody who let Ernie hitch a ride for a lap or two here on the track. Though I'm not sure daughter Patty is ready to watch her thrill-seeking centenarian father on another adventure. Oh, I was so nervous. How are you doing? <laughs> I was so nervous. You do not. Huh? I told him that. He said nothing to worry about. Uh, well, I just got to remember he's 100 and he can do what he wants on his birthday. Okay. Boy, I had a great ride. And his 103-year-old buddy, Al Blaschke, who had jumped on his 100th birthday, was proud of his younger friend. How did he do for a youngster? 
I don't know, I may do it again, who knows? <laughs> He was going around. around and around and yeah. around. Yeah. Uh, that, make you, that made us nervous down here. It make it you nervous? Made you nervous? Yeah.